Welcome back to Mac Music Review. Anthony Fantano dropped a not good recently, and it was Machine Gun Kelly's Tickets to My Downfall. An album that the fans have embraced like rabid dogs, and the critics have not enjoyed. For the most part, some critics actually have been somewhat friendly to this album. Spectrum Pulse actually gave it an 8, which is pretty shocking given some of the hatred this has received. Pitchfork didn't even despise the album. They gave it a semi-positive score. And, you know, it's it hasn't had an all-negative reaction. And it, with critics, and really with the fans, it's been overwhelmingly positive. So, um, what do I think about this album? Going into this album, I expected to despise it because I don't like Machine Gun Kelly. The only good things he's ever done are the songs Rap Devil, which... You know, it's fine. It's good for the meme. And then the song Candy on uh, Hotel Diablo, I think is what the name of the album was, was pretty cool. I like that song with Trippy Red. And um, besides that, never really listen to MGK. He seems like a very toxic person in real life. I've seen interviews with him and he seems really terrible. Like, and just because of that and the very negative reaction to his music that he had received as a rapper, I, I didn't care to, to d dive deep but turns out he's had as a big fan base with this album it was number one on the billboard top 200 albums and it's pop punk this is 100 percent a pop punk album even going so far as to have all of the songs be like underneath under three minutes most of the songs in this album do not even hit the three minute mark this thing's got like three interludes world war three and then those two other interludes i'm calling world war three interlude because it's less than a minute but the longest song on this album is bloody valentine and that song is 3 minutes and 24 seconds long, so that tells you how quick and to the point these songs are. And that, to me, is a huge positive with the project. Nowadays, with music, we are getting these really overlong, super bloated albums and songs. Like, it's just a thing, mostly not super long songs, but it's just a thing for people to just overstuff their album. When I saw this thing had 15 tracks, I panicked. I had a mini panic attack. And then I listened to it, and I was like, wow, you know, it flows pretty smoothly, and the songs, like, none of the songs really overstay their welcome, except for one that is overtly terrible, even despite how short it is. Um, we'll get to that. But, um, you know, it actually, it's really nice, the, the how short the album is and how short these songs are is really refreshing and then we just get one song and then we head on to the next and nothing nothing um overstays its welcome but unless it's just overtly bad also i gotta say i'm loving machine gun kelly's energy on this album this is a much more fitting genre for him than rap this is what he always should have been doing his voice works very well with this type of music with this type of energy he really sells the anger he really sells the white boy rage the sad angry emo white boy he just sells it man to the point where i actually believe that he is a sad angry white boy that's that's how successful he is on this album at making you know as pretending to be a uh, maybe he is a uh, one of those angry white boys. But that's the target demographic for this album, I would say. Um, and emo girls as well, I guess. Some cringe emo girls. Cringe emo girls. Not the cool ones. The cringe ones. You know what I'm saying? But, um... The song Jawbreaker is really bad. This song is very short. One of the shortest on the album. Uh, one of the shortest songs on the album. It, it has... It's like underneath two minutes. And it repeats the chorus. And it's intolerable. It's so bad. The lyrics on this thing are insanely cringe. He like sort of rap, sort of raps it, and it's just, I'm, I'm not going to say the lyrics because it's cringe just to think about it, but the lyrics on this song are very, very, very bad. It's, it's not well written at all. Honestly, though, just, this is the only song in the album that stands out to me as really, really bad. And then there's My Ex's Best Friend, which I automatically want to hate because it has Black Bear on it. I want to just say it's the most garbage song, but I would be lying. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard, despite having Black Bear. Black Bear doesn't even ruin the song. It's just a very petty song with the lyrics. Probably one of the most petty songs on the album. And it's just it's just where the white angry white boy persona is kind of cheesy and kind of annoying like like black bear it's this feels like a black bear song in terms of that aspect of it but musically it doesn't sound musically and vocally it's not all that bad 
And then you have some moments on this album where it feels really genuine, and a lot of this is just him having fun. It's him just messing around. Like on Concert for Aliens, which is a really fun song. A really fun pop-punk banger. And like a lot of this is really just, you you know, you gotta play into the persona, and if you're just looking at this as, wow, this is just angry white boy music, you can have fun with it. But then some of the songs actually do have a genuine sense of emotion. Like on Title Track, the first song on this album, <laughs> it's... It's a little bit over the top, but that's kind of what you want from it. It's over top, over the top in a good way, and it does feel like there's some genuine emotion in that song. Also, in the songs, um, Lonely. Lonely, I think, is the most emotionally convincing song on this thing. Nothing Inside, where he talks about this girl looking, to her, looking into his eyes, and she saw nothing inside. That's a really good lyric. It really stuck with me. And I don't know if it's cringe. Maybe you think that's cringe. I like that lyric. It, it feels the chorus on that, the hook on that song is really convincing. And then um, play this when I'm gone also has some emotion in it and feels like it's coming from a genuine place. So um, yeah, there's some actual emotional stuff in here. There's actually some emotion coming through in this music, which I really appreciate. And I also think that the rest of it is just fun. It's just fun, angry white boy music. With all that being said, though. I don't think this thing is super well written, despite that I do think it is fun and enjoyable. I don't think it's the most well written project, even though I actually do like the music on this thing, and I do like the performances. I do. I think Trippy Red in his verse on the song uh, All I Know is really underwhelming. Like, I really wanted Trippy Red to go all out on this, like, freaking pop punk song, and he definitely has the ability to do that. He goes all out all the time, and he didn't on this. And I was like, why? Also, I don't really like Halsey that much, but she doesn't do a bad job. I don't have anything to say about Ian Dior because it left literally no impression on me. But, um, yeah. Uh, very little on this album stands out as great. That's, that's the complaint I have. Everything on this thing is good. Like, I feel like most, like, nearly everything on here is good and listenable, and actually, I can totally understand if you enjoy it, but very little, like, stands out to me as, like, really great, really out there, really, like, wow, that's super good. That's just, great is just a word that is very difficult to use to describe most of these songs, but I do think this is an enjoyable album. I do think it is fun. I do think it is, you know, it works. This album works. It's not a great album, but it's not... It's really not as bad as a lot of people are saying it is. And I'm going to have to, a lot of, as, not as bad as some critics are saying it is. And I'm going to give it three stars out of five. This album is very confident in what it is. And I appreciate that. I appreciate, uh, confidence is something when it's in like a movie or a TV show or, you know, an album. It's just when you know that the director has, or the director or the artist has this very clear vision in mind and they just go for it and they just really full send it, you just always have to respect that. And that's totally what Machine Gun Kelly did here. I respect that. I respect him full, fully going into this and just doing his thing and, you know, he, he sells it. I, it, feels, it feels genuine. And it, it also so feels fun. It feels genuine where it's supposed to feel genuine and then the rest of it. I can laugh at and enjoy semi-ironically but also kind of not ironically because the music's actually pretty fun anyway thanks for watching have a great rest of your day